Hey, it's Tim here. In 22.4, you can now replace a data source for a specific sheet only, rather than the entire data source. Let's find out how to do that. Let's get stuck in. Before we get stuck in, just one quick favor. 82% of the people watching this video in the last year aren't subscribed to the channel. And just to show you some context, nearly half of my subscribers came from this last year's worth of content. And if you look at how many views and how much time people are spending, I'm sure it's creating value somewhere. So if you really appreciate the content or would like to see even more of it at a better, higher quality standard, hit the sub button and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so I'm here, I'm using a workbook or a sheet that I've been using to showcase a couple of the features in 22.4, specifically the proper function and also the image roles. Check out those videos. But here I am, I have a specific table built out and you can see here that the product name field had an error when I was exporting the data set. What I'd like to do is swap in the correct data source, but I don't want to affect the entire workbook. If I go back to my first sheet here, you'll see that I've actually got an issue here with image roles not loading, but you can see I don't want this sheet to be interfered with. In essence, I'm happy to have two data sources in my workbook, but I just want to replace the second sheet with that data source. And you can know when they're replaced because when you're using an actual of data source, you can see there's a little tick mark to tell you that this sheet is using that data source. And so when I go between these sheets, you can see that they're both using the top one. For this sheet, we're going to go ahead and change that. So let's go ahead. And what I'm going to do is right click on this data source, go down and you can see there's an option here to replace the data source. Let's go ahead and click that. And you can see here immediately there's this option here to replace the current worksheet only. So the current worksheet is the one that I'm specifically in when I select this option. So if I go back, I'll select uh, replace the worksheet only. And what I want to do is replace sample data with sample data version two, select OK. And you'll see that everything goes wild because essentially uh, the whole data set is actually different. So what I need to do is remove the avatar URL and you'll see that now that works. Essentially what happened is when I switched the data sources out, the filter that existed before didn't work. Now the filter has been removed, everything is working great. And you can see that this sheet is using the second data source, specifically version two. Now, the real test is what happens when I go to the first sheet? Well, that's still using the first data set over here. So that's a really powerful feature. If you just wanna test something, make sure something's not broken, bring in a second version of the data set, maybe even have the two sheets side by side for whatever reason, because you're trying to troubleshoot, this is gonna be a super handy feature. Um, it's another quality of life improvement I'm really happy to see in Tableau. Um, I just love the big focus at the moment going on on these kind of small, but really useful things inside of the product. That's pretty much it for the video. Be sure to check out everything else in this playlist for everything new in 22.4, and I'll catch you in the next video.